AI is exciting because it's powerful, right? You have the power to do stuff. The problem with AI is that it is so impactful, it is so powerful, it can solve everything, but it can also do everything. Dr. Ilya Sutskever, the silent mastermind behind superintelligence, is back and making waves. He's warning, AI is about to become wildly unpredictable. Now here's the real kicker. Ilya says we're heading toward a world where AI starts upgrading itself. And this isn't just theory. We're already seeing the early signs of this, just like Sam Altman hinted in The Gentle Singularity. We're in the larva stage of recursive self-improvement. But here's the twist. What we're seeing publicly might be nothing compared to what's happening behind closed doors in top AI labs. Ilya warns this could lead to an intelligence explosion, a runaway chain reaction where AI becomes smarter and faster, beyond our control or understanding. When this idea first popped up, many laughed it off. Just more AI hype, they said. But not anymore. With projects like Darwin Golem by Sakana AI and Alpha Evolve by Google's DeepMind, we're seeing the blueprints of self-improving machines. No, it's not full-blown yet, but the seeds are definitely sprouting. The future, it's already knocking. Now let's hear from the man himself. Here's a clip from a recent interview with Ilya Sutskever. I studied math and computer science. I got a very, I got a very strong foundation. Then my parents moved to Toronto. One of the first things I did was to go to the Toronto Public Library and try to find a book on machine learning. Rather than finishing high school, once again, what I tried to do was to become a transfer student to the University of Toronto. The great stroke of luck of being in Toronto is that Jeff Hinton was there. This was the place to be. Those were the most forward-looking ideas in AI in the world back then. And so I was able to join the University of Toronto as a transfer student. In 2002, computers could play computer games a little bit, and they could play chess and checkers. And that was it. And I remember thinking, a very big computer could play chess, no problem. But how can it learn? How is learning possible at all? Can computers learn? Like, somehow I felt that if you had the answer to the learning question, then everything else would follow. As a result of the AlexNet paper that we wrote in grad school, some companies expressed in a desire to acquire our company, which didn't exist, so we needed to create a company. And eventually Google acquired us, and so I joined Google. The idea that a large neural network can do anything was further supported by some of the research we've done at Google. And then the opportunity to start OpenAI has presented itself. I was in the Bay Area, it felt like how can I be here and not really try a real, like a real serious startup with all these illustrious people that came together. So I decided to go for it. We continued working at OpenAI. Deep learning is a big idea and quite a few people contributed to it. And I'm happy that I was able to contribute to it as well. But with AI, you know, unfortunately the future is not so simple. AI is exciting because it's powerful, right? You have the power to do stuff. What kind of stuff would you imagine the AI would do if the AI became powerful enough, if the AI became capable enough. We'll have incredible health care. What if an AI was doing medical research? That would be amazing. You could do so much more. You could cure so many diseases and maybe extend life. I think those are really wonderful things. But if an AI can do this, what else can it do? And ultimately the answer is going to be everything. Just one of the challenges is that AI is going to be both extremely unpredictable and unimaginable. It's unimaginable. How can we prepare? We need to prepare. It's not clear how. And then eventually the power of AI is going to be so vast, the idea that an AI can build the next generation of AI, the intelligence explosion. Holy moly, what do you do about that? The problem with AI is that it is so impactful, it is so powerful, it can solve everything, but it can also do everything. And all these questions don't have answers right now. What he wanted to talk about was far more urgent, the unstoppable wave that's coming. AI's impact isn't a distant future event. It's here. It's unfolding. And according to Ilya, we're standing on the edge of something massive, whether we're ready or not. Got thoughts or personal stories about AI in your field? Drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.